The board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore, Alderwoman Hubbard, Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderman Coder, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Villa, Alderman Onowitz, Alderwoman Murphy, Alderwoman Howard, Alderwoman Green, Alderwoman Berenger, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman French, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cone, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Alderman Crewson, President Reed, yeah. Alderman Tyus, Alderman Flowers, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Davis, Alderman Carter, 25 present. Quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by a good friend of mine and many of you here, and that's Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend Booker from St. Paul AME Church. And Reverend Booker, when he's not uh, uh, presiding over a congregation somewhere and giving prayer somewhere, he's out in the streets working every day and night to make St. Louis safer and a better and a stronger city. Uh, so let's welcome Reverend Booker. Thank you, President Reed and members of the Board of Ottomans of St. Louis, Missouri. Let us pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for touching us and giving us another day of health and strength. The use of our limbs, the faculty of our minds. We thank you for your omnipotent power. For we know there is a God up above that rules the universe. Cause the sun to shine, the rain to fall, the winds to blow. The erratic pattern of seasons, we know that your omnipotence is in control. We thank you for your omniscient, for you are an all-knowing God, all-seeing God. And the knowledge that you provide for us to learn and to put in action what we know to be the political process. We thank you for your, um, your omnipresence, for we know that you live and you are part of, of all of us. Bless now the proceedings of this meeting. Bless our city, St. Louis, Missouri. Bless those who are disenfranchised, exploited, those who are exploited, we pray for neighborhoods, we pray for our police and the protection of their lives, we pray for citizens. In the name of the God of our understanding and in the name of Jesus, we pray for President Reed, who lost his auntie in Alabama. We pray that you will bless his travel and his family and allow him to know that precious are the saints who die in the Lord. Bless us this day, we pray, and our city. Amen. Let's give Reverend Booker one more round of applause. That was a beautiful prayer. We'll dispense with our regular order of business, take up our courtesy resolution calendar. I move for adoption of courtesy resolution calendar and retain a second, second about all of them from the 22nd. Uh, all of them from the 23rd. 
We will start with the resolution from St. Louis World's Fair. Can I have the St. Louis World's Fair uh, committee and a guest to come up? So I am so honored today, and we are blessed today to have with us uh, some of the members of the St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival and their, and their board of directors. And you will hear a little bit from a couple of the leaders and the folks that put this thing together. Uh, I know a lot of you know Davide and Michael from other things, but uh, uh, they've been doing things all throughout the city, including off the walls of city halls. Uh, this guy is a major record producer and music producer in St. Louis and web developer. I met him when him and his partner first came to St. Louis when they were young men. <laughs> Still a young man, but, but when they were even younger. But um, this St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival is a great tribute to the city of St. Louis and its history. And I'm just going to read a, first of the, a couple of the first paragraphs uh, about the World's Fair and then let you hear from its leaders. Whereas today, we pause in our deliberations to note the third annual St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival being held in Forest Park, where the, where the 1904 Olympics and Louisiana Purchase Expeditions were hosted together for the first uh, and last time in St. Louis, and whereas this annual event, whose mission is to bring together the, the diverse communities of the region, will showcase the finest elements of art, music, business, food, while, while visitors rediscover the rich heritage of St. Louis. Whereas the celebration will highlight the history of the 1904 World's Fair and, and the city of St. Louis by promoting positive discussions of the region's past and present while looking forward to a bright future. And whereas St. Louis World's Fair, World's Fair Heritage Festival and the 1904 World's Fair Society have teamed up to preserve, share, and promote the memories of the fair that brought the world to St. Louis. Visitors can view actual memorabilia, explore art artifacts and educational components, and hear the tales and wonder and amazement of the original World's Fair from its members of the 1904 World's Fair uh, Society. So let's give a round of applause to the 1904 World's Fair Board of Directors and its leaders. Let's give a round of applause to them for doing this for the city of St. Louis. So first, I want to let you hear from David A. Wheat. Thank you, Mr. Reed. It's an honor to be here today. Our festival is a small festival with large aspirations to do great things for this city. We, um, first couple years, we've brought over 20,000 people to Forest Park. Um, and as Mr. Reed pointed out, and try to educate them what took place here in Forest Park. The kind of the roots of Forest Park is the 1904 World's Fair. There were a lot of things that took place. We want to talk about the good and the bad because that's all part of our heritage so that we can create a brighter future for everybody that's part of this diverse community. That is one of our main important missions. Um, next, I really would like to thank Mr. Reed personally and so would the board of directors of the St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival for opening up so many doors for us uh, through the years as we marched forward to bring this big dream to reality and uh, this is a piece of art of mine um, and it when I was going through what we could do for Mr. Reed this just spoke volumes to me of what this gentleman has done for not only this group but for a lot of people in St. Louis he's opened up a lot of doors for a brighter future so I would like to thank Mr. Reed for the work he's done as well in the city I'd like to introduce Mike Landau with Fat Buddha Productions and a board of director of the St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival. Good morning, everybody. Um, I don't want to be too long. We're really excited about this year's event. 
Um, we have a three-year deal with Forest Park at the World's Fair Pavilion, August 19th, 20th, and 21st. Um, we're working really hard to provide an atmosphere where we can bring people together. That's what this whole thing is about. We really want to bring people from the county with people from the city together and utilize Forest Park, which we feel is the crown jewel of St. Louis, as the footprint for that, um, along with the idea, innovation, and invention, the spirit that existed at the 1904 World's Fair. There's a lot of energy going on in St. Louis right now. You guys, I'm sure, are familiar with the startup scene and the biotech emergence. And we want to tap into that. We want to tap into the history. We want to tap into a lot of things that can bring people together, both entertainment, education. Uh, we're going to work hard to do that. We appreciate your support. And we look forward to seeing you all at the fair. Thank you. There's been a request that we make resolution number, this courtesy resolution in bank. Uh, would you like to, it's been moved and you want to make the motion, Alderman from the fourth? Moved by Alderman from the fourth, seconded by Alderman from the 19th. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, motion carries. Now what that means is that every Alderman would want their name added to this resolution, which is a great honor. Uh, and it, you've been around long enough to know that the board, we, we fight about a lot of things, but when we're unified on something, that means that it's something great and something good. This resolution is the highest honor the board has to give any organization or individual. And what it does, it cements in time some of your many contributions up until this point in time. So 100, 200 years from now, when you research the records of the city of St. Louis, they will read about the start of the St. Louis World's Fair Heritage Festival, and they'll read about the impact that we expected to have on the city of St. Louis, and know that all of you passed this way and you contributed to the rebirth of the city of St. Louis. I thank you so much on behalf of the residents in the city who aren't here to thank you personally. And I wasn't expecting anything, but I, I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to, instead of taking it home and hanging it on my wall, I'm donating it to the board so that we can have it here at the Board of, Al at the board of Aldermen to denote this day and, uh, appreci and our appreciation of the St. Louis World's Fair and your board of directors. Congratulations. Let's give them one more big round of applause. If any aldermen want to join us up here for this photo with the St. Louis World's Fair, please, please feel free to come on up. Come on up.
And for our, for our Italian guests that, that are here today, this particular art piece is of a door from Italy. So, so the artist would like to talk to you about that in a minute also. Alderman from the 23rd, would you like to approach the dais? I'm not going to do these one by one. We'll be here all day. Um, anyway, uh, I, as I think everybody here is aware that we have the national robotics competition going on downtown. So people from around the whole world have been, uh, they have to win in their area. And what we have, this is the uh, Italian national team. They won the robotics competition for Italy and uh, they're here, and so what, what I did is, we, I have four resolutions, one for the team, one for the professor, we have the uh, teacher of them, we have uh, someone with the Vatican uh, news media, newspaper, and, uh, and, and so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna read them all, there's not that much to the resolutions, but I do want to have them introduce who they are, and I'm going to have an interpreter, because for the most part, uh, they don't speak English. So, uh, who's going to interpret? I can do it. Okay. So I want you to introduce everybody, tell them why they're here, and then I'm going to give them all one by one. Give me their names. So this is the first, the first resolution is for the team. So. This okay, is that's it for uh, Mr. Luigi Ferraiolo. That's the resolution for Mr. Luigi Ferraiolo, which is uh, this wonderful guy right here. So, so the city of St. Louis, we recognize in him for his hard work in uh, coming to St. Louis, and we wish him luck in the in the. Okay, you want me to say in English or in Italian? Uh, you can probably say because they heard me in English. Okay, all right. This is one thing that we give the city of St. Louis. Per la, uh, um, che voi altri fate quello che fate è, è bellissimo e, e vi danno questo questa bel foglio per la città di San Luis. Thank questo you. è per, per lei. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want to say a couple of words, you can. All right. If you want to say a couple of words, you want to vuoi dire qualche cosa con qua? Sì, la dico in, in Italian. La dico in italiano così That's per right. tutti. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Let me... And we can do it fair. You're going to say a few words in Italian, but uh, I might translate a little bit. Let's see how hard it is for me. Go ahead. La dico in italiano uh, perché così tutti, uh, come dire, noi del gruppo possiamo, siamo uguali e possiamo comprendere. Okay. Uh, la, uh, he says in, in uh, Italian like this, all the group can uh, understand what he says. Go ahead. Siamo onorati di essere in questo consiglio comunale della città di St. Louis, veramente onorati per, questa, per questo grande onore che date a questa squadra, che è la squadra campione d'Italia di robotica. Siamo onorati di essere qui a St. Louis e siamo molto onorati 
to, to do this contest uh, right here in St. Louis. Uh, entrare nella sala della democrazia di una delle città più antiche degli Stati Uniti è per me, per il preside del, delle scuole della Fondazione Villaggio dei Ragazzi di Maddaloni e per il professor Michele Affinito, ma soprattutto per i nostri ragazzi, per il nostro team, uh, entrare nella patria della democrazia occidentale e mondiale, così come lo era Atene e lo è stata Atene all'inizio dei secoli. Well, <laughs> this is, this, I can give a short, short thing, it's a very long translation for me. I've never done the translation this way. So anyway, uh, yeah, they, <laughs> I'm from St. Louis, by the way. Uh, um, he says he, they think, thankful to be in this uh, uh, Democrat uh, city in... Uh, Tempio. In questo Tempio della Democrazia. Well, in this temple, they call it Temple Democratic City in the in United States. And uh, it's very democratic. And uh, like uh, the Atene, Atene is uh, the capital when it started the demo democratic in, uh, in Greece, in other words. So he compared those two things. So anyway, he's a professor. <laughs> he, he really speaks the whole language for me. Go ahead. Uh, say some more things. Grazie di tutto. Thank you very much for everything. Oh, that's for me or this for him? <laughs> for both. Claudio Petrone. And, and same thing. It's the same thing. He's the, uh, the... He's the principal there. So, so he's the principal... He's the principal the school. in the school, but he represent those young men right here to, the, to, the, 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 to do this contest. You want to say a few words? Okay. Non metto hard on me, just easy. Piano piano. Okay. Buongiorno e grazie al sindaco e alla città di St. Louis per questo riconoscimento. Good morning and thank you to have this uh, recognized things for us. Io rappresento una fondazione italiana che da circa 70 anni si occupa dell'assistenza ai giovani bisognosi. I represent for about 70 years to these uh, kids uh, uh, in, need, uh, in need of something, in need of, or kids in need, in other words. E oggi, right. e oggi siamo qui a St. Louis per onorare e rappresentare i colori dell'Italia. And today we are in St. Louis to honor and represent, and represent the uh, Italian color, in other words, the Italian flag, the Italian state. Of, of, uh, nella competizione uh, mondiale della robotica, la First Lego League. And, uh, and then in the competition of this event, of this robotic, robotic uh, competition. Siamo qui da qualche giorno, ma è come se non fossimo mai partiti dall'Italia. Ci sentiamo a casa nostra grazie alla vostra accoglienza. We are here for a few days and we are so welcome and we were amazed you guys the way we are for us. We really love here in St. Louis. Grazie di tutto. Viva, viva l'Italia, viva l'America. Thank you for everything. Viva Italy and viva the United States. That's for you. Michele, Michael Alfino, Michele Alfino. Alfinito. Oh, Alfinito. Oh, you can speak English, no. so you got it easy now. <laughs> so Michael's the teacher. Is it the teacher yes. of the, the, teacher the robotic? The, the robotic. Yes. Yeah. I am the teacher in the school um, in, in, uh, Technology Institute of uh, Foundation Villaggio dei Ragazzi of uh, Maddaloni in Campania near uh, Naples. Uh, then um, we are very honored to stay here with you. Thanks uh, to all the Sindaco Major, uh, mayor, the mayor, mayor, the mayor, mayor the, uh, I, I, I tell all my friends <laughs> if uh, I, I see here and um, 
uh, Mr. Antonio Gandolfo, <laughs> Antonio Gandolfo Mr. Uh, Mike Mr. Mike Lombardi, Mrs. Uh, Marisa, <laughs> and uh, Ms. Frank Galati. Frank Gal Galati. Galati and uh, Mr. Vaccaro. <laughs> you forget me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the name? Mr. Umberto Passanise. Umberto Passanise is the. <laughs> <laughs> my, no, my, my friend. Friend, friend. Okay. Um, we stay here to International Robotics Championship, and uh, very uh, Saint Louis. It's a very beautiful uh, city, and it's uh, more um, clear, pulita. Come pulita, clean, 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 clean. Pulita, clean, and. Uh, Compliments. Comp compliments to the organization for the policemen. To keep the city away. The? To, keep the city ah, to, keep, away. to keep the city away. For the policemen, for the um, uh, transport. Transportation. Uh, transportation. Is transportation is very, very wonderful. And for the way big, uh, the big street. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. The big street. Um, one, one thing that is uh, possible to migliorare, come si dice? Uh, do improve. Do, do improve. You want to improve. Uh, is the velocity limit. <laughs> I limiti di velocità. Oh, the speed limit. The speed the, limit. They say it's too slow right here. <laughs> well, uh, let, 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 me tell you, let me tell you a story. I was in Italy last year, and uh, uh, somebody take me to the highway. The highway, they are made over there too. Really beautiful. But the speed limit, they don't know what it is. I mean, it is zip. And zip, zip. I said, what is this over here? It's not, nothing like this in the United States. The United States is one of the best places you can drive. Uh, yes. You can learn how to drive here. And these are really, really okay. beautiful. That's okay. what you meant. Thank you. Thank you to all. And we wait you in uh, Italy. So the the last last uh, one is, and I don't I, I don't know if they want to have someone talk, but okay. the last one is for the team, for the whole team, the whole team itself, right. and it honors them. They had to work hard. Uh, I know you, that the uh, robotics <laughs> championship is open, and you can go and and see all the different uh, students uh, for the city of St. Louis. This has just been economic and otherwise just a giant boom. If anybody's been down around the, uh, uh, the, the, the center there, there's just people walking all over downtown. But as far as the speeding goes, I get a lot of complaints about it. So we're happy with low speed limits. But uh, No, that thing is too <laughs> low, Joe. I know. Well, that thing is too I know. Low. I like it low. Because of, well, that's I the like way it, it is. Low. Sure. So, so I, I just want to I want to say thank you to the to the team. I want to say congratulations to the team. Okay, Mr. Joe Wakaro, say thank you to the, to all of you guys. Uh, thank you for to, tutti i ragazzi di qua per quella che avete fatto e eh, eh, è andata avanti sempre e non fermatevi. No, in Italia la testa alta. Oh, okay. Mr. Vaccaro, they present you this. The team present you this with this emblem for, uh, for the city of la nostra fondazione. The foundation where they come from. Italia Foundation. Well, thank you. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This, is, this is our president. Yeah, this is the president now. Okay. Just a moment. The photo. That's the president. That's the photo for Joe. They got, they got, they got this. And they got your desktop. The flags yeah, and the flags. for the speaker of the board. There you Thank go. You for uh, uh, Thank hospitality you. Thank you. Uh, in memory of Italy. Thank you in, so much. Yeah, just you treasure there in memory of this event anyway. Thank you so much. Grazie di tutto. Grazie di tutto. Thank you. Congratulations on what you're doing with the kids. Hold on one second. We have yeah. to see if anybody is. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, hold on. Aspettate, aspettate un momento. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? In further discussion, I also want to just tell you a little bit about what these resolutions are. The resolutions are the highest honor the board has to give any organization or individual. 
And what it does, it, it, it cements in time some of your many contributions up until this moment and adds this to the permanent records of our city. And it's an official act of the board. Okay, the, it just adds it to the permanent records and it's an official act of the board. Okay. So. Di questa eh, rivoluzione, queste cose vengono da poter resterà qua in St. Louis per sempre. So, e le, le mettono nel registro e resteranno sempre in St. Louis per tutta la vita. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Oh, my, oh, my, my life and uh, your guy. Oh, thank you, sir. And you're honored to be here and to stay here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give all of them one more big round of applause and all the kids for job well done. Yeah, thank you. Hey, 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 I thank you very much to listen to me. And I'm sorry if I make a few mistakes. No, you did that's, great. That's, <laughs> that's my first time I, I translated, let's put it this way. So I thank you very much to listen to me. And I appreciate it. Thank you much. You did a great Thank job. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our cursive resolution calendar. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Madam, Madam Clerk, please make note of the change on the cursive resolution calendar. Create a additional resolution in bank for the World's Fair. So noted. All right. That will return our regular order of business. Introduction of violent guests. Any introduction of violent guests? Alderman from 25th. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this morning, I would like to welcome my constituent, Isaac Porch, uh, to the meeting, along with uh, some friends of mine from the Verde family. Any further introductions? Alderman from 26. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have some honor guests today. Mr. Vervis Jones, former comptroller and resident of the 26th Ward. Thank you. All right, welcome. from the 14th. Good morning, Mr. President and esteemed colleagues. I'd like to have for my guest today, President Demetrius Alfred, Local Firefighter 73, um, Labor's International Local 110 Representative Clinton McBride, and Painter's Local 58 Representative Gary Otten. All the from the 16th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have him as my special guest today, Anthony Lencia of AGC and Megan Shackelford, one of my local Jefferson City friends. All right. Thanks. Follow on the 19th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my honored guest today, they are sitting in our balcony, Highland Stewart. He's an entrepreneur with five links. They will be having their international convention here, five links, at Downtown Convention Center, May 18th to the 21st. And the most important thing to me today is, he is also a Gill member with the Urban League. Oh, Thank wow. you. Congratulations and thanks. I have one more, sir. Okay. And also, uh, Joyce Hall is also a member of the Gill with the Urban League of St. Louis. And I see Judy Arnold also up there. Welcome. All along from the 20th. Um, I'd like to have as my special guest today, Chad Sabora and uh, Robert Riley of the Missouri Network for Opiate Reform and Recovery. 
uh, as well as Jennifer Joyce and Rachel Smith and George Sells from the uh, Circuit Attorney's Office. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to introduce as my special guests um, Keith Taylor and Jeffrey Hines from the Carpenters District Business Council. Any further introductions? Any further? I'll move for the night. Moved on. <laughs> Tricked you. Um, Mr. President, members of the board, I'd like to have for my honor guest today Martina Johnson from the St. Louis Association of Realtors. Thank right, you. Welcome. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? All in front of the 10th. You would like to wrap us up? Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, first of all, I'd like to thank the Alderman from the 23rd for his brief and organized presentation. <laughs> I do work late. Tell him I could, you know, call me next time he's going to do that. I could sleep in a little longer. Thank you. Today is National Arbor Day, April 29th. But more importantly, this is a day we celebrate the invention of Gideon Sunback, who in 1913 patented the Zipper Day. This is National Zipper Day. So everyone celebrate this invention, which opened and closed a lot of worlds for everyone. Thank you. <laughs> you guys forget me. <laughs> All in for 18, you recognize on approval of minutes. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for the approval of the April 18th and 19th meetings. Moved by all in for the 18th, seconded by all in for the 19th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, motion carry. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have been placed in all alderman's mailboxes. I have them as honor the mayor the following correspondence. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment to the Sioux Lord Special Business District, the appointment of Michael Campbell, who resides in the seventh ward, whose term will expire on December 31st, 2019, the appointment of Justin Guerrero, who resides in the seventh ward, whose term will expire on December 31st, 2019. I respectfully request your approval of this appointment. Sincerely, Francis G. Slay, Mayor, City of St. Louis. Alderman from the seventh, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Sulard Special Business District. The board, I move to uh, confirm the mayor's appointment to the Sulard Special Moved Business. Moved by the alderman from the seventh, seconded by the alderman from the thirteenth. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. Dear members of the board. I have the pleasure to submit the following individual for appointment to the Euclid South Community Improvement District, the appointment of John Lay, who resides in Webster Groves, whose term will expire on January 8, 2018. I respectfully request your approval of this appointment. Sincerely, Francis G. Slay, Mayor City of St. Louis. All in from the 17th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Euclid South Community Improvement District. Yes, Mr. President, I move for the approval of the mayor's appointment. Moved by Alderman from the 17th, seconded by Alderman from the 10th, and the 25th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, motion carries. That's the extended report of city officials. We'll dispense one line items seven through 10, first reading of board bills. Board bill number two, sponsored by all the woman Cruson and Arnis, recommended by the Board of Vestment and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into and execute the Lambert Airport Use Lease Agreement between the city and any airline operator granting to such airline certain rights, privileges for the use of airport and its facilities and containing a severability clause and an emergency clause. Board bill number three, sponsored by Alderman Boyd and Arnis, establishing a tire code for the city, providing for the permitting and regulation of tire deals. Tire, tire, waste tire haulers and owners and operators of waste tire sites to address the impact of waste tires on the budget, environment, and fiscal health of the citizenry of St. Louis. Board Bill 4, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and Arnold, approving a redevelopment plan for 4403 Gibson. Board Bill 5, sponsored by Alderman Woman Flowers. In ordinance repealing ordinance 69782, which approved a redevelopment plan for the Lookaway Drive, Lookaway Court redevelopment area. Board Bill 6, sponsored by Alderman Vaccaro, and ordinance establishing a four way stop site at the intersection of Olitha and Prather by regulating all northbound and southbound traffic traveling on Prather at Olitha and regulating all eastbound and westbound traffic traveling on Olitha at Prather and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 7, sponsored by Alderman Spencer and ordinance. Ar on ordinance pertaining to commercial semi-trailer trucks 
also known as semis, are trailer tractors prohibiting such traffic along certain portions of Chippewa, Keokuk, Osage, and Kosciuszko streets, and along certain portions of Marine, exempting from said prohibition of emergency vehicles, including privately owned tow trucks when providing emergency services to non-commercial vehicles, vehicles making deliveries to nearby addresses, and vehicles with gross weight, vehicle weight of less than 26,000 pounds and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 8, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and Ordinance, recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel on rides between Kings Highway and Brother Thornton Way abutting 4946 and 4947 wise, a 13-foot portion of the 15-foot wide east-west alley and city block 5592 abutting 4947 wise. Board Bill 9, sponsored by Alderman Bosley and Ordinance, recommended by the Board of Public Service, authorizing the 2016 St. Louis Works and 5050 sidewalk, sidewalk programs citywide, appropriating $5,500,000 from the city from the Street Improvement Fund containing sections for descriptions of work, approval of plans, specifications of work, material guarantees, estimated costs from the city's funds, and supplemental agreements and reversions, authorizations, applicable state and federal wage rate requirements, equal opportunity provisions, the mayor's executive orders, contract advertising statutes, and the Public Work Emergency Clause Board Bill 10, sponsored by Alderman Bosley and Ordinance, approving a redevelopment plan for 1500 through 04 Salisbury Street, Board Bill 11, sponsored by Alderman Coulter and Ordinance, recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map from multiple blocks from B2 Family Dwelling District to the D Multiple Family Dwelling District and the J Industrial District and the K Unrestricted District to the I in Central Business District and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 12, sponsored by all the women in Grassi and Ornance, proving a redevelopment plan for 2324 Virginia. Board Bill 13, sponsored by Alderman Conway and Ornance, proving a redevelopment plan for 4030 Russell. Board Bill 14, sponsored by Alderman Conway and Ornance, proving a redevelopment plan for 4104 through 4164 Dutante. Board Bill 15, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and Ornance, proving a redevelopment plan for 3332 30 through 3334 Missouri and 3310 10 limp area. Board Bill 16, sponsored by Alderwoman Green and Ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 3835 Connecticut containing a severability clause. Board Bill 17, sponsored by Alderwoman Green and Ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 3657 Wyoming and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 18, sponsored by Alderman Boyd and Ordinance repealing Ordinance 68785 and 69594, which prohibited the issuance of any package or drink liquor license for any currently non-licensed premises within the boundaries of the 22nd Ward Liquor Control District. Board Bill 19, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2841 McNair. Board Bill 20, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3429 Missouri. Board Bill 21, sponsored by Alderman Tynus, Tyus, and Ordinance pertaining to income which is exempt from the city earnings tax, repealing Ordinance 65094. Removing an exemption on any income received by a person in the form of or related to the grant vesting or exercise of stock options, performance shares, or performance-based stock related incentive plans from the city earnings tax and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 22, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, and on us approving a redevelopment plan for 1911 Utah. Street Area, Board Bill 23, sponsored by Alderwoman in Gracia, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2607 California. Board Bill 24, sponsored by Alderman Ortman, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2842 Ohio, Ohio Avenue. Board Bill 25, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance amending Ordinance 70159, and 70175 relating to 32 North Euclid TIF redevelopment project. Board Bill 26, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and Ordinance establishing a four-way stop site at the intersection of Sydney and McNair by regulating all northbound and southbound traffic traveling on McNair at Sydney and regulating all eastbound and westbound traffic traveling at Sydney at McNair and containing a severability and emergency clause. Board Bill 27, sponsored by Alderman Kotor and Ordinance bringing a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 400 through 421 South 9th Street, 815 Rear of 909 Poplar, and containing a severability clause, Board Bill 28, sponsored by Alderman 
Kotar in order to approve a blighting study and redevelopment plan for 705 Olive and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 29, sponsored by all the women in Gracia and Alderman Kotar, and order to an amended blighting study and redevelopment plan for amended Tower Grove East. Fox Park scattered sites, redevelopment area, and containing a severability clause, Board Bill 30, sponsored by Alderman Kotar and owners pertaining to vendors on the wharf, appealing Ordinance 61362, enacting a new ordinance establishing a process for soliciting vendors, vendors for said area, establishing a wharf vending district, and establishing a riverfront vending district committee. Board Bill 31, sponsored by Alderman Williamson and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 58. 49, the Giverville Board Bill 32, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, in order to approve a petition of owners of certain real property to establish the Grand Center Area 2 Community Improvement District and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 33, sponsored by Alderman Conway, in order recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel on two irregular portions of Shaw between Kings Highway and Vanderventer, Budding City Block 4095, bounded by Shaw, Vanderventer, and Kings Highway. Board Bill 34, sponsored by Alderman Vaccaro, in order recommended by the Board of Estimate and apportionment authorizing directing St. Louis Municipal Finance Corporation to issue and sell its recreation lease recreation sales tax leasehold revenue refunding bond series 2016 in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $43 million in order to refund all or a portion of its outstanding recreation sales tax leasehold revenue refund Revenue Bonds Series 2007, Board Bill 35, sponsored by Alderwoman Hubbard and Alderwoman Davis in ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 1600 through 1742 Washington. Board Bill 36, sponsored by Alderwoman Cruson, Spencer, Flowers, Green, and Howard, an ordinance pertaining to the development and administration of a program for monitoring the prescribing and dispensing of Schedule 2, 3, and 4 controlled substances by professionals licensed to dis prescribe or dispense such substances within the city, city of St. Louis, establishing penalties for violations thereof, authorizing the health department officials to work with officials in St. Louis County, which is currently setting up a prescription drug monitoring program, authorizing the receipt of donations for support of the monitoring program and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 37, sponsored by Alderman Kotar, and ordinance approving redevelopment plan for 2246 Shenandoah. Board Bill 38, sponsored by Alderman Kotar, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2243 McNair. Board Bill 39, sponsored by Alderman Davis, and ordinance pertaining to the organization of administrative staff of of the Board of Aldermen in the position of Executive Secretary repealing Ordinance 68057 and parts of Ordinance 60237, Board Bill 40, sponsored by Alderwoman Spencer and Alderwoman Crewson and Ordinance pertaining to drug-related overdoses and medical assistance immunity from prosecution for possession or control and containing definitions and an emergency clause, Board Bill 41, sponsored by Alderman Villa and Ordinance recommended by, by the Board of Board of Public Service to conditionally vacate travel on a northern 128-foot section of the north-south alley in City Block 3210, bounded by Davis, Michigan, Herc, and Virginia. That's the extent of our first readings. Reference to committee. To the Transportation Committee, Board Bill 2. To the Health and Human Services Committee, Board Bill 36 and 40. To the Personnel Committee, Board Bill 39. To the Public Safety Committee, Board Bill 3 and 18. To the Ways and Means Committee, Board Bill 21, 32, and 34. To the Housing Committee, Board Bills 11, 25, 27, and 35. To the Streets Committee, Board Bill 6, 7, 8, 9, 26, 30. 33 and 41, and to the Neighborhood Development Committee, Board Bills 4, 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 29, 31, 37, and 38. That's the extent of reference to committees. Madam Clerk, please sign Board Bill number 28 to HUDS. So noted. And Board Bill 36 to the Health Committee. So noted. And Board Bill number 40 to Public Safety. So noted. And Board Bill 39 to Rules. I didn't hear you. Th uh, yeah, Board Bill 39 to Rules. So noted. Okay. 
dispense with line items 13 through 19. First reading of resolutions. Resolution 11, sponsored by Alderwoman Green and Board of Aldermen, approved the Tower Grove South Concerned Citizens be bis Business District Budget. Alderwoman from the 15th, you recognize on the first reading of resolution number 11. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for unanimous consent to consider re uh, resolution number 11. So you're requesting unanimous consent? And I move for adoption of resolution number 11. Cop uh, copies are on each alderman's desk. Okay. Well, first, let's back up. So you want to request unanimous consent for resolution 11? Correct. All right. Go ahead. Start, start there real quick. Just, just request unanimous. Just say I request. I request a unanimous consent to consider resolution number 11. Hearing no objection, please proceed, Alderman. Thank you. I move for adoption of resolution number 11. Uh, copies are on each alderman's desk. It's been moved by the alderman from the 15th and obtained a second on that motion. You don't have it. Re resolution it, it dies for lack of a second. It dies for all the women. Uh, resolution number 11 dies for lack of a second. You can try to reintroduce it later, but it dies for lack of a second. Res resolution 14, sponsored by Alderwoman Green, an enterprise zone for guarantee electrical company. Alderwoman from the 15th, you recognize on the first reading resolution number 14. Copies of that have not been provided yet either, so. Okay, all right. Um, would you like to move the Senate to committee? Yes, um, I move to send resolution number 14 uh, to be referred to the Housing, Urban Development and Zoning Committee. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 15th and entertained a second on that motion. Seconded by the Alderman from the 12th any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Madam Clerk, please sign resolution number 14 to the HUD. So noted. That's the extent of first reading of resolutions. We dispense with line item 22, miscellaneous unfinished business. We have none. Announcements? On Tuesday, May 3rd at 9 a.m., transportation and commerce meeting. On Thursday, streets meeting at 10 a.m. in the leisure room. Friday, full board meeting, 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All one from the second. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to call a health and human services meeting May 5th at 11 a.m. Madam Point Clerk, please make note of that. So noted. Alderman, Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I know that forestry is watching and my constituents are watching. We have 1,700 vacant lots with the grass is already five feet tall. And our first cut is May the 21st, so we need a cut. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any Alderman from the 19th? Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I wanted to uh, just give a couple of shout outs real quick. This past week, we have had so many volunteer initiatives going on in this community on behalf of young males. I want to encourage anyone who does not give at least an hour or two a month to and uh, something to support young men's development. Find the time. It's worth it for the future. I also like to recognize in spirit and in understanding and appreciation, forestry, parks, and recreation. We have a great working relationship. We have reduced that staff over the years, most especially since I've been here. And we still need more money in our budget for them. That makes a difference in our community. That is important for us. So I'm going to start speaking right now 
I'm not on Ways and Means, but I plan to be at the meetings when it's time to talk about their budget. My parks look great. When I call for support, I get it. And that's because they care about their jobs and what they do. But they can only do so much. They're human beings. And when you don't get enough people and you don't get enough equipment, you do what you can do. So I'm going to be there pushing for them to get increased in their budgets because we need that for our city. It's nothing like having a clean city, happy, healthy kids that are safe. That makes a whole, whole big difference. So I'm telling you now, if you don't, if you don't care, I'm going to give you a guilty conscience so you will. Thank you. Any further, any further, any further announcements? Any further announcements? Alderman from the 18th. Alderman from the 8th. Good morning, Mr. President, members of the board. The Ways and Means Committee will um, have its first meeting next Wednesday. Um, I know the Comptroller's office, Madam Clerk, um, has a bill in for the uh, temporary borrowing. If you'll put that on the agenda for 9 a.m., we'll go over our schedule for the, for the budget hearing. There will be one um, public hearing. I believe that will be in Alderman Carter's ward um, in the uh, next week of uh, it will be either May 11th or May, May 12th um, in Alderman Carter's ward. We will keep you posted. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any further Alderman from the third? Mr. President, members of the board, I'd like to announce there's going to be a fancy fashion show by La Grossa Apparel, and that's going to be at the Rustic Goat this coming Saturday, April the 30th. All right. Thank you, Alderman. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All in front of the 18th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the alderman from the first be excused for necessary absence. Been moved by the alderman from the 18th, entertain a second on that motion, sec seconded by the alderman from the 11th. All, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. <laughs> motion carries. All in front of the 18th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the board adjourns until Friday, May 6, 10 a.m. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, entertain a second on the motion. Seconded by the Alderman from the 12th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Pose. Stand adjourned.